Today's podcast is brought to you by Quantrix Modeler Introductory Training, teaching the fundamental foundation that you need to become a Quantrix Master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Show me, show me, show me how you do Quantrix. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. Sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 221, Constraint Input, Data Validation, Referencing Arrange. This is a new feature that was added in Quantrix 2018, and I think it is fantastic, and I want to share it with you. It really helps us with our constraining of input or data validation. I have here a model that has a list of items. These items are known as particulates, if you will, in this case. It doesn't really matter for this example. But what I want to do is I want to make it so that these values in this column are the constraints of some other cell that a user would input. So how do I make that happen? So to explain it further, I have another matrix here, matrix uh, 3, and I want only the values listed here in this particulates column as options to the user in matrix 3 in the intersection of this uh, these rows and columns. And I can do this by using constrained input. And the way we used to have to do this uh, pre-Quantrix uh, 2018 is you'd have to create a data link and create a category off of this uh, matrix and this item, and then you could constrain it by category. But with Quantrix 2018, now what I can do is I can simply right-click constrain input and then click dynamic list. Whereas before you had to only click a category and dynamic list was not present. Now if I want, then what I do is I select range, I select particulates, and then I can sort them if I want or just have it come back as is. I go ahead and I click OK and now you can see my constrained input indeed is back to what I have listed over here. I think it's a little bit strange that maybe it's not in the order that I have it listed here, but certainly all of them are present. And I think the reason why the order is not uh, being maintained is simply because Quantrix has it just coming back at random, as I've seen in a few other things in Quantrix. Anyway, you can see that I have REGR and everyone that is over in here uh, I have listed here as an option. So I think this is fantastic. Uh, great additional functionality in Quantrix 2018. I encourage you to check it out if you haven't and put this into use in your models. And if you have any questions about Quantrix, I really do hope that you'll reach out to me at quantrixauthority at gmail.com. I absolutely love Quantrix. I want to make you a Quantrix master. So please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez.